Hi everyone, it's Abigail from The Creative Bix and I'm gonna show you how to make some really easy bubbles in Procreate. I was getting a bunch of questions about it, so I figured I'd just do a quick tutorial and show you how to do it. So to start, I just have a blank canvas um, and this is screen size, so that is, um, if I go in here and go to canvas, you can look at canvas information and dimensions and that is 2732 pixels by 2048 pixels. Um, and so now what we're going to do is I'm going to fill this first layer. We have one layer right here. We're just going to color drag and turn this into a black layer right here. Then we're going to add a layer on top and we're going to grab the color white. And I have my Sadie brush selected and I'm going to put that at, let's say 3%. And I'm just going to draw a circle and I'm going to hold my Apple pencil down and then it's going to turn into an ellipse and then tap with one finger and it'll turn it into a perfect circle. And so I'm just gonna center this by tapping the move tool. And then down here I have snapping turned on and I'm just gonna align that so I see the two uh, yellow lines intersecting to know that it's perfectly centered. And then I'm gonna duplicate this second layer. And on this bottom layer, I'm going to just color fill it. And then I'm gonna actually change this whole layer to be the color black so it blends in with this background, okay? And now with this top layer, um, this is going to show us our bubble. It's going to start looking like a bubble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blur it and we're going to uh, tap Gaussian Blur over here in our Magic Wand section. You just tap Gaussian Blur right there and then you're going to slide it to blur. Okay, and I'm doing it at like 27% and now to get a crisp edge, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it into a clipping mask. So now all of that is just clipped to this bottom layer right here. And then underneath this layer, underneath your um, white blurred layer, you're just going to tap actually on this black circle right here and tap the add um, button and that just, is just going to add a layer beneath. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color and I have three colors selected. I have a hot pink, um, a, a bright turquoise blue, and a lime green. And so with this hot pink, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and draw maybe like two strokes. So one long, one a little bit shorter. And then same thing, grab my blue and then maybe put uh, some blue up here and maybe uh, a blue down here. And then, and these don't need to be perfect, but now I'm gonna grab like a lime green and just kind of go in there and add a little bit more color. And now we're gonna blur all of those together to make it a little bit more subtle and not so sharp. Um, and I'm gonna go, let's see, I think it looks good at 31%. And I'm just going to leave it right there. If you want uh, it to be a little bit brighter, you can take this layer, swipe to the left, and tap duplicate. And that would make your colors a, light, a lot brighter. So maybe I like that, but I'm just going to tone it down to like 23%. Okay, and so now all that's really left to do is you're just going to add a little bit of extra shine. So on top of this layer, I'm just going to add a new layer. And I'm going to grab white. And same thing with my Sadie brush. I'm just going to draw a kind of a big circle here and then just a little dot there. And then another long stroke right there and go back to our best friend Gaussian Blur and just blur it ever so slightly. And then you have a bubble. Now here's the catch with what we just did. If I combine all of these, so I'm swiping right and I'm going to tap group and I have a group right here. I'm going to swipe and duplicate it. So now I have two bubbles. And if I move this top bubble layer, right, you can't see where they overlap. Um, and the reason for this is because of this black circle, right? That's, um, it's opaque and it, even if I lower it um, and I get rid of this, so even if I lower it, then it's going to lower what I have with the bubble. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually um, combine all of these top layers right here and I'm going to turn off this clipping mask, okay? And so now you can see what the bubble looks like if it's not clipped to this um, bottom layer. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of everything outside and make it look like we had it before, but it'll be transparent on this inner part. Okay, so I'm going to tap on this bottom circle. And this is a little bit tricky, so if you need to pause, you are totally welcome to do that. Um, I'm going to tap on this bottom circle and tap on it again. So this menu appears, and we're going to tap Select. Okay, so right now I have Automatic Selection. Um, and that's turned on, so what's selected is in white. And you can see this kind of aura of the colors we have before. Um, and I wanna get rid of all of that. So what I wanna do is I wanna change my selection to be on the outside of the circle so that I can just delete everything on that outside selection. So I'm gonna tap invert, and now the outside of my bubble is selected. And all I have to do is go up here, and right now I'm just gonna tap here and tap clear. 
And now I have a bubble. And if I duplicated this, you can see right there, I've duplicated it. And if I move it, now it's transparent and you can see um, the bubble beneath it. And so you can make this a little bit smaller. You could duplicate this again. I always like duplicating my original um, just for quality and make sure it doesn't get too pixelated and you can move one right there and keep going with it. You know, you can make really small ones. Maybe I put one over here and maybe it goes right there and another one and a little tiny one right there. And you can just keep going. You could fill this whole page with bubbles. I might just do one more um, and maybe put it right over there. Okay, so that is how you can create bubbles really easily and simply in Procreate. And I hope you have fun with it. If you make this, I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram at the Creative Bix and have fun creating. Thanks for watching.